As the governor is allowing more businesses to open, others are still waiting. All new at 430, vacation rental companies are now joining a lawsuit so they can reopen sooner. New 6's Clay Lepard talked to one of the plaintiffs hoping to get back to normal. Late this week, Central Florida property owners added themselves as plaintiffs in a federal lawsuit against Governor Ron DeSantis, demanding that they be allowed to reopen their vacation rental properties. We spoke with one of the plaintiffs. Welcome to The Great Escape. These vacation rental homes in Lake County house some of Andrew Greenstein's wildest ideas. Monopoly is probably about my favorite board game. So I made the closet look like jail, and the fan is the money spinning around you. However, a lot has changed since News 6 went inside two of his luxury retreats in 2018 and 2019. Whether or not we are taking guests remains controversial right now. Um, our county has us licensed as a hotel slash motel, which is essential. But the state has us licensed as a vacation rental, which is criminal. For Greenstein, it doesn't make sense that his business is in limbo, while hotels stay open during this pandemic. It just seems very unfair and it doesn't make any sense, so we're trying to peel away the layers and get to the real reason. We have a comprehensive six hour cleaning process with a commercial crew, and this is before COVID-19, and now, they are sanitizing every square inch, every handheld remote control. It's pushed him to join more than a dozen other vacation rental property owners all over the state and file an injunction against the governor's executive orders. The best case scenario is allowing vacation rentals to open up immediately, albeit with common sense health restrictions that everybody else is required to follow. During the governor's press briefing on Friday afternoon, he told reporters he's asking county leaders who want to see short term vacation rentals reopen to submit their plans to the state on how to safely do that. His office has not replied to our direct request for comment on this lawsuit. Back to you.